Hi, my champions. How are you today? Today, guys, it's Friday. I'm going to make a crock pot meal because it's still warm, but not as warm in Michigan. I know it's still hot in you guys' neck of the woods, and you don't want to turn the stove on. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare cube steaks to be tender, delicious, and no searing in the skillet. Okay, you guys, this is quick, easy, delicious meal. I'm gonna show you what you need to do. Hope everyone is well. Let's get to the recipe. Now, what you're gonna need is a can of cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, or even cream of celery, whichever soup you like. You need some garlic powder, onion powder, a little pepper. I'm not gonna use salt because I have the cream of chicken. It's enough sodium in there, and I have this I'm not gonna even try to pronounce it, gravy pack here. I'm gonna make a slurry, so I have a couple of tablespoons, teaspoons of um, flour there, and I have a large onion, and I have my water to the back, and the star of the show is gonna be my crock pot today. What I'm gonna do is show you guys how to mix this up, how to make it an awesome, delicious dinner today. Some people don't like making this because they don't know how to make it tender. If you use the crock pot, it is the easiest and best way for tender cube steak, guys. I have a little bit over a pound here. I'm gonna rinse this off and I'll be right back. All right, we're just gonna season it up a little bit with some pepper on both sides, guys. If you want to cut your cube steaks because you feel they're too big, cut them in half with your scissors. Then we're going to go in with some garlic powder. Okay. Season them on both sides. Have a little bit over a pound here. All right, and after you do that, we're gonna go in with our onion powder. If you choose more seasoning than this, guys, go right ahead, it's fine. But be careful with the salt. Okay. Once you season these up like this, what you wanna do is, next, is make sure if you're gonna do the five hour cooking guys it's five hours on high eight hours on low okay I am gonna go ahead and turn my crock pot on and put some of my onions on the bottom okay all right next what we want to do here coming over to the back. I'm gonna take my stuff and mix it up first. Make sure you get all that soup out of that can, all of it. Okay, and once you get the soup out of the can, I'm gonna take my gravy and mix it into my soup. You can take and pour all of this in the crock pot if you want. I just want mine to mix up really well. And I'm gonna go in with a half a bottle of water. Okay. Another good thing that I didn't have, guys, I did not have any, I mean, Lipton soup works well with this recipe. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up really well. All right, guys, I mixed this up really well. And I put a little water in my can to make sure I got all my soup out of there. Now what you wanna do next is lay your meat on top of your onions. You don't have to sear this one. This is gonna be so tender. People who think they can't make 
cube steaks tender. Try this recipe and you're gonna be surprised. I had to get my wooden spoon, guys. Okay, you're gonna pour this right on top. Just like that. And I wanna get a little more of my water in my bowl. Okay, you're gonna go in with the rest of your onion all on the top. That flour, I'm gonna add some water and seasoning to about an hour later. I wanna make my slurry, my grandmother's slurries never fail the meal. Okay, this is on high for five hours. We're gonna just let that cook and we'll be right back. I'm back. It's been about an hour and a half. I'm mixing up that flour, water, making a slurry. But I do want to put a little onion powder and garlic powder to season up that flour water. Okay. Mix that in. Look in there. I want the cameraman to let you guys look in there. Sorry. These babies are going to be good. Okay? So we're just going to go in and let that cook for another two hours. I'm going to check it and let you guys see it. Look at that gravy. All right, guys. When I come back, this will be ready. All right, YouTubers, I'm back. Do you see that? Cube steaks. A lot of people are afraid to make cube steaks. It's been four hours and 45 minutes, guys. Look at this. Can you see that? Look at that. Now, I want you to see how tender this is. Look at that. It's cutting real tender, okay? Mm. This is absolutely amazing, guys. If you try this recipe, you guys have to let me know how it turns out for you. It's absolutely tender, delicious, and gravy. You see that gravy in there? I'm gonna have broccoli, some smashed potatoes, and I'll probably put a little cheese on Raylan's broccoli. But this is an easy recipe. Let me let you guys see the, the gravy. Oh yeah, look at that gravy. Look at the gravy on that meat. Isn't that awesome? All right, guys. I'll make a thumbnail, but if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and a comment, guys. I'm on my way to 10K. Tell your friends and family about Mama Ray Ray, what she's doing in the kitchen. Voila! Bye-bye.